So the groom is a twin, and I accidentally congratulated the twin. Yep. because we are actually um, going to be doing a different kind of vlog video today. I am attending a dear childhood friend's wedding in Canada. So we are on the road, my husband and I, and today I'm just gonna be taking you along as I get ready. So we're gonna be doing a get ready with me. I might show you a little bit of the wedding, um, but I really wanna be present today. So we'll see how much y'all get to see. The hotel is really nice. I made the bed even though we are not at home. Um, you gotta keep up those homemaking skills, guys. No, I just like it because it looks nice um, and cozy. And you know that I always have to do my lay down on the bed thing. So I'm gonna bring you through this whole hair, makeup, outfit situation. And we are gonna be wearing a thrifted outfit today. So I can't wait to bring you through all of that. And yeah. <laughs> kid you not um, so it's tried and true and I again just use this kind of wider tooth comb and I don't have anything specific I do other than just try to make sure that I don't go crazy on the ends of my hair with the blow dryer because we don't want that heat damage you know it's, it's not a good thing <laughs> that when I, I talk about my hair damage a lot and when my hair was so damaged I didn't blow dry it for about a year so from kind of the spring of 2018 until just this past April I didn't blow dry it just to really preserve my hair just to make sure that it could kind of grow out and that's really why I try to not go too crazy on the ends um, but now up here all this hair is new it's healthy um, it can handle the blow dryer a lot better we're still fighting that box dye battle that I started so yeah dry hair I dye my hair too you dye your hair <laughs> also I know that you guys have noticed that my bangs are kind of short right now and I was a crazy person and I cut them myself and so I feel like some days they lay really well and then other days I'm just like what is happening on top of my head for those wondering I did not go to a salon I probably should have a mustache yeah, he has a mustache because in November, a lot of police officers, they're not allowed to grow full beards at his department, but they are allowed to have mustaches. So they do no shave November and they pledge some money and it all goes towards prostate cancer because, and I think it's a really good cause because um, breast cancer has a lot of support and awareness and funding and prostate cancer has a fraction of that funding. So yeah, no shave November, but actually for a cause. 
I like to sometimes put it in a bun after I blow dry it because it'll just kind of like make it a little bit more wavy and curl the ends a little bit more. So I also quickly want to show you some skincare that I used this morning because I know you guys are really curious about my skincare routines. Humphrey's Organic Rose Witch Hazel. This isn't sponsored, but I just really um, like this toner a lot. It's been clearing up some of my acne. You can see I get a couple little spots around my chin. So this is really great. This is the other thing I wanted to recommend. It's, I haven't been using it for long, um, but it's a Honey Manuka Night Cream, and I get really dry skin in my nasolabial folds. It does have glycerin in it, and I bought it at Walmart, so. We will see how this goes over the next few months, but I do really like this. And then the last thing is another Amazon find. This has thousands of positive reviews. Again, not sponsored. It smells amazing. It's not a natural product. If you want, you know, your, grapeseed oil, your olive oil in your hair, like you do you. I do that a lot too, but this is really great. I like it for special occasions when I just want to really make my hair smell amazing and just look really glossy. So highly recommend as well. So I quickly wanted to tell you about this robe because I'm sure you're curious or maybe I just want to like brag about this but this is a thrifted Christian Dior satin robe or kimono I guess you could say. I was so excited I just like ran out of that store after this purchase and I was pretty on top of the world not gonna lie and the cool thing is even though it's um you know this like thin material it still stays really warm it just traps heat inside so if you ever see one of these kind of robes highly recommend so see silky and comfortable <gasps> okay hello welcome back to the windowsill my husband's telling me jokes in the background making me laugh um today we are going to go through kind of what i would do for a formal wedding guest makeup and you know i kind of I'm not the most crazy skilled makeup person, but I just thought it'd be fun to do some makeup together. So, um, last time I did a makeup get ready with me in a vlog, I was using a Lumi L'Oreal foundation, which I use in the summer, but now that it's winter again, I kind of spent a little bit more money. I'm now using this CC cream. It has SPF 50. It's a color correcting full coverage cream. And the reason I like this is because it has really amazing blendability. And you know that's important because I have freckles. I just put foundation, you know, in my kind of my T-zone and in and around my eyes because, again, we don't want to fully completely cover my freckles because, again, that's not really an option. <laughs> They're there. But I do like to blend them out down here just so I don't have that very heavy kind of freckles down at this portion of my face because I feel like this will make my face naturally contour a little bit more. to be doing my eyebrows. I have this Maybelline Stilettos Mascara Wand and I really like it because you can see it has this very thin kind of style. I don't like having black eyebrows so I bought this Maybelline Dark Brown Mascara. So I've just been dipping this in here and then I will take my time and kind of just brush this through my brows and I think that's why my brows look a little bit more natural lately because I'm not filling them in with an eyeshadow. This still shows the single hairs of the eyebrow and it just makes it look much more natural. <laughs> quickly kind of 
wipe that down. But mistakes are always made in the realm of makeup. Also, I have to tell you guys, as I, you know, I'm having a little bit of coffee that husband made for me, thank you. So this morning I was really unsure if I was gonna film this vlog. I was just like, I've never done a travel vlog. I'm always at home. Um, I'm in control of my environment when I film. I don't know how I feel about this. And then I listened to the podcast, Set Apart Girl, really recommend it to all my Christian ladies in the audience. It's for Christian young women. And there's this one episode called Victory Over Meltdowns. And it's so good. And it just gets me in my soul every time. And every time I need motivation and kind of like a stern talking to by an older sister, I listen to Leslie Ludy's podcast episode, Victory Over Meltdowns, because it just reminds me of my place in Christ Jesus, what my purpose here is on earth, and how to control my emotions, because I have a lot of them. So, highly recommend. I actually think I'll link it below as well. But now that my... Um, Foundation is set in, we are gonna do some powder. And I I don't know if I love this powder. The reason I like this is because again, it has no parabens, no silicones, and I just don't want parabens on my body. So I'm gonna set my makeup with this. And I forgot my setting spray, so there's that. But we're in Canada, so. <laughs> You can see that my neck is um, pretty much the same shade, but my chest is a lot paler than my face. But it don't matter today because I'm wearing a turtleneck. So I also just used this, um, I think it's a Jordana, no, this was Wet n Wild, um, a blush stick because Blush looks really good on fair skin. Just putting that out there, if you don't have olive skin, if you don't have dark skin, blush just brings more life to it. Um, I know everyone's all about the contour nowadays. <clears throat> Amazing, you do you, but blush is kind of what I'm into lately. So now we are gonna be doing some eyeshadow. Why am I misplacing everything? <laughs> We're gonna be doing some eyeshadow and I have a Milani palette and a palette from Amazon. Nothing crazy. We don't have any really fancy um, palettes on my channel, but we're not a makeup channel, so that's okay. So I'm just gonna be taking some of these pinks and rouge kind of colors. You can see I don't go crazy. I just like a little bit of shadow, a little bit of warmth around my eyes. I might add more later, but now we are going to be curling the lashes. This is the worst eyelash curler I have ever owned. So we're gonna do the opposite of a recommendation right now. And it has no label. That's probably why it's so terrible, because it's off-brand. And I have the Kat Von D tattoo liner because I got a little gift when I bought that foundation from Sephora. They were like, wait, you don't have an account with us? You've never been here before? So they gave me this as a birthday gift. And I do really like it. I still have the e.l.f. eyeliner as well. Um, I'm looking forward to trying the NYX dupe for this eyeliner once this runs out so I'm gonna have to let y'all know how that goes. Okay, also I can't do this in front of a phone camera so I'm gonna pop over to the mirror and then come back. Okay, so you can see that I did just a thick line. I'm not a wing person um, but now we are gonna put on some mascara and I just like this Maybelline stuff. I've used it since eighth grade and I sometimes feel like mascara it's not so much how expensive it is, how high quality it is, what the brush shape is. I think it's how much experience you have with it honestly. I know you guys ask me about my thoughts on plastic surgery and like cosmetic procedures a lot and I have to say that if I got anything right now it would be one of those lash tint and lifts because I've seen people saying that they don't even have to wear mascara anymore after that. Isn't that crazy? That part, donezo. I might edit this a little bit after we get food. Um, maybe make it a little more dramatic. But that's kind of the natural look I am going for right now. And now we are going to be doing the lips. And I mentioned this in my glow up video, but 
when I watched Valeria Lipovetsky's videos in 2017, I don't really watch her content anymore, but she had some amazing get ready with me's when she did her trip to Russia. And she just had some amazing get ready with me's. And she's the one who inspired me to do this overline your lips just a little bit. And if you have kind of weak lip lines, I have some scarring from some acne from middle school. I have some freckles. So I really love to line my lips because it really just defines that area. <music> color boost lip stain because I kid you not it stains your lips all day so I'll put his lip stain on I'll wait for that to dry and then I do the Revlon peach parfait number 865 <laughs> on my forehead. So we're going to fix my bangs and then put on just a regular outfit, go to breakfast, and then I'll show you my thrifted wedding guest outfit after. This is pretty much the makeup and now I have to clean up this disaster and I'm gonna show you the disaster I made. I'm flying high, but I got a feeling I'm falling, falling for nobody else but you. Okay, so we just tidied the room a little bit because even when you're staying at a hotel, it's just nicer if things are cleaned up. Yes. <laughs> I'm right through. Um, and then just this thrifted wool coat. These boots are from 2016. I think I got them at a shoe carousel, shoe carnival. I think that's a store in um, America. And then just this um, Kate Spade purse that I got as a gift a few years ago. I'm feeling I'm falling, falling for nobody else but you. It was not farther north than where I live now. I think that's a misconception that everywhere in Canada is so much farther north than this state. Show me the ring and I'm bright through. Show me the ring and I'm bright through. Show me the ring and I'm bright through. I used to. We are back at the hotel. Wedding's not for a couple hours, so I'm going to be ironing my outfit. I'll show you what it is, and then I'm going to get their um, gift ready. We're actually just giving them cash. When we were first starting out, when we first got married, it was so nice just to have that infusion of cash because we had to pay for our wedding, we had just bought a house, and we had the honeymoon to pay for, so there was just a lot of expenses, and I remember being so grateful for the cash we got. But yes, I'm going to show you my outfit now. I'm going to make sure that it's all ironed and ready to go, and then we have to deal with the next. to put on my outfit and I'm gonna explain a little bit because I'm wearing a few layers. Not only are we in Canada, but the reception sounds like it's gonna be partially in a barn. 
So we will see how that goes, but I'm gonna show you how I layer to kind of work with the seasons, work with the temperature while still looking like a put together wedding guest. So I am wearing um, a really like, warm long sleeve whenever I wear this underneath my clothes in the winter I almost sweat because it's so warm um, and then I'm wearing tights underneath this slip skirt and I'm gonna put my normal outfit on top of this and this will keep me warmer um, part of the reason I'm doing this too is because my coat is not like a full-on winter coat you saw me iron it it's um a kind of thinner coat because we're gonna be outside um, having to wear a coat to this wedding I didn't really want to have like a thick puffy winter coat on I wanted something um, you know that looked really chic so that's why I'm gonna be layering my outfit so intensely okay and this is what it looks like with the skirt this is the thrifted skirt I was telling you guys about um, it's pure wool and so it's going to be really comfortable and then I just paired it with some Mary Jane kind of shoes and because they're peep toe and it's November it's kind of a no-no to wear peep toe shoes past um when it's you know warm outside um but because of that I put on a black tight so you can't really tell that I'm wearing peep toe shoes but I still get a little bit of lift under that skirt because this skirt isn't floor length and so it's really important for my feet to kind of still you know look elegant so I also have this pink purse with it to kind of bring out some more color and I am going to layer this with the jacket okay so we just had a wardrobe malfunction with my husband's um, outfit but thankfully I brought a safety pin so just remember that too ladies when you're traveling bring a safety pin bring a few bring even a little sewing kit if you need to especially if you're staying in a hotel you don't really know what you're gonna encounter with your outfits so that is my pro tip so I'm gonna finish putting this outfit on um, I also have this pashmina that I'm gonna wrap around if it gets extra cold I might also bring an extra under layer of a long sleeve and put it in the truck just in case. <laughs> Congratulated the twin. Yep. <laughs>
wedding. We danced like crazy and now we're headed home. Um, and we tried to help tear down a little bit, but yeah. It was so much fun. I saw some friends that I hadn't seen, honestly, since my wedding, and just so many years apart. Um, that's just kind of what happens when you immigrate from a different country. You kind of leave behind a lot of dear relationships. So it was so wonderful to see them. We stayed a little bit to help tear down the wedding. We danced our shoes off, and it was so much fun, but I am very exhausted. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick outro let you all know that if you got to this point in the video, you are part of a special club <laughs> of people that I dearly love. So thank you for watching the whole video. If you liked the video, don't forget to click the like button. It does help grow our community. As I always say, if you're interested in more of this content, I have some older vlogs that you can check out on the channel as well. But in the meantime, I hope you have a wonderfully blessed and festive week, my beautiful sisters.